George William Cabarole is preparing his gardens for the rains. In the 1970s, the 76-year-old was a caretaker of the State Lodge in Masaka and President Idi Amin's personal cook. From a fancy and luxurious life in State House in the 1970s, nowadays, George William Cabarole spends his days in the garden digging for his survival. Cabarole, who is illiterate, joined the army in 1971 and was posted to the suicide barracks in Masaka. Six months later, he was taken to the officer's mess as a cook. Lieutenant Colonel Isaac Maliamungu, a former corporal in the Uganda Army before Amin School, was the commanding office of the suicide barracks. In 1972, he recommended Kabarole to work in the State Lodge. Then Amin loved Cabarole's cooking so much that he took him along on most of his international trips. Cabarole says his boss loved local food and never drank alcohol. His favorite drink was Shep's soda. To fit in, Kabarole adopted the Muslim name Yasin. His salary was 410 shillings, but when Amin was in a jovial mood, he would give him a bonus of 200,000 shillings. He would also give Kabarole's wife 100,000 shillings just for shopping. <laughs> Whenever he stayed at the State Lodge, Amin woke up at 10 a.m. and since he was there to relax, Kabarole procured companions for him. Breakfast in Nakulia Michoma Guancoco, Ovania Mayambuzi, Gansike Sike Kurunji, Nakachaike, Kakawa, Takia, Takia, no causes a matter. If you have a child in the Manu Nang and Abikolako, Nagiza Okubale, and we were Maga Dava Margaret. I didn't say Nakum Nakum Manya. Much as Amin was known for his kindness to those close to him, he was also unpredictable. Cabarola says that during the 1979 war, the death of Colonel Godwin Sule broke Amin, although in public he put on a jovial face. When Amin was eventually overthrown in April of that year, Cabarole says the president's bodyguards broke into a bank in Gulu and looted it. Of the loot, Cabarole was given 500,000 shillings, an equivalent of 265 million shillings today. He went to Kinshasa, Zaire, in what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo, with six of Amin's sons, bought a house and took care of them until 1988, when he informed Amin that he wanted to return to Uganda to look for his own children. On his return, Cabarole had $100,000 sewn into his jeans to evade immigration agents. Unfortunately, when he went to reclaim his house in Chimuanyi, Masaka, he was arrested and incarcerated in the Masaka Ahmad Brigade Barracks for three months. The $100,000 disappeared inside the barracks. <laughs> Zari 
zali zoera zafwa atengo dibanga manti usirudi hapo kuuliza baada ya pesa yako I got a job as a driver in the Ministry of Finance until he retired ten years ago. Now, in his evening years, he lives in abject poverty. Kabarole spends his time reminiscing about the good life in the 1970s and the more than eight wives he once had. His aspiration, when he gets money, is to marry a young woman to keep him company. Gillian Nantume, NTV. <laughs>